Okay, so this is my website, DebriAllen.com. So if you click on the podcast menu, you will get this screen. And um, what I'm going to do here is go down and then you basically scroll down to the bottom. See the two dots right here? Click that second dot. It takes you to the next page. And then you will find Nicole's lovely face here, sharing your story and journaling your way to purpose. And that will take you to the show notes and the episode. This is loading a little slowly, but there we go. You just play this right here and you get the episode or you can use iTunes. That's the kicking it with Doree icon. That's me. And you can also use Stitcher Radio if you like, if you uh, don't use iTunes. Hey, so I wanted to talk with you a little bit about the podcast episode today, which is with the butterfly, Nicole Turner. And um, basically, I have a few points for you today that I wanted to highlight from the episode. So um, the first point is that spending your life constantly giving to other people and not doing your own purpose, not living your purpose, it leaves you feeling empty and resentful because you feel like you're doing things for everyone else and you're leaving yourself out of it. And so you're kind of, um, over time, maybe serving is natural to you. Maybe it's something that you do out of obligation. I'm not sure. But once you get done with that, it's kind of like, okay, what about me? It comes to fulfillment. It comes to the essence and the core of who you are. Um, dimming your light to reflect what other people are doing, just short changes um, your purpose and what it is you're supposed to give because in essence, your purpose is not for you. Your purpose is something that you have and your talents are there to manifest what it is, but it's not for you. So someone else needs to be helped by what it is that you do. So if you sing, sure, you can edify yourself by singing, but really that gift that God gave you to sing is there to edify other people and to serve other people. If your talent is writing, if your talent is speaking, if your talent is dancing, if your talent is music, whatever it is, don't be afraid to walk in your purpose. It's not a selfish thing. Also, what we talk about in the show is don't be afraid to share your story. Don't be afraid to tell people your testimony, what you've been through, what you've overcome. Because a lot of times people look at each other and they don't realize um, that they're looking at the after or the during, but they're not looking at the before. They don't know the story that came before the glory. So um, just make sure that you um, take the time to share your story with people and don't be afraid or ashamed of the things that you've been through because it'll help somebody else um, knowing that they're going to make it through what they're going through right now. Another thing we talked about was self-reflection. Um, I have a couple of books that I wrote. What's Wrong With Me um, is my very first book and it's a memoir. And I journaled my way to that memoir. And you also can journal your way to whatever it is to get your story out. Nicole Turner, uh, the person that I interviewed on this podcast, she journaled her way to the memoir that she's talking about, which is called Reflections of the Butterfly. Um, so again, share your story. Journaling is a great way to get that out. There's a quote that she said in the podcast that I want to highlight, and I'm going to read it here. It says, the hardest thing for us to do is to point the finger at ourselves and say, I am the problem. We always want other people to fix our stuff, but it doesn't work like that. So I'm going to say that again. It's hard for us to point the finger at ourselves and say, I am the problem. Um, we always want other people to fix our stuff, but it doesn't work like that. And so if you're not journaling, if you're not praying, if you're not having quiet time, if you're not self-reflecting, then how do you know what's inside of you? How do you know those things that you need to deal with? How do you know what your issues really are? And why is it that you want to lash out on somebody else for something that's going on inside of you that they either don't know anything about or even if they do know about it, they're not a therapist, they're not a professional, and they can't help you, they're not assigned to fix all your problems. You gotta do your own work. As Ayala Van Zam would say, you gotta do your work. Uh, be careful not to blame and judge other people for the things that you lack. Um, it's easy to think of what the ideal mate would be like or what your best friend should do for you, but you first have to look at and reflect on and work on yourself. 
And finally, are you comfortable enough to be your own best friend? Like, can you actually sit down and say, I'm going to be quiet, no TV in the background, silence, I'm chilling, I'm good. I don't really have to have people around. Like, I like people, I love people, but I don't have to have them around me. Can you actually do that? Or do you feel awkward? Do you feel some kind of way if uh, you feel like other people are doing things without you? So it's just a few things to think about. Just wanted to show you. Uh, the podcast episode lets you know that it is up. I publish new episodes every Tuesday. And again, it's called Kicking It with Doree. It's on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, and on my website, doreeallen.com. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for sharing and for subscribing.